name is James Nicholson and welcome to my YouTube channel. The volume of house price sales has surged in the last quarter. It is up massively. In this video, I'm going to talk about how much house sales are up, the volume. I'm also going to be able to tell you the landlords that are exiting the market because that has significantly increased as well. And that's really interesting to see because I know a ton of landlords watch these types of videos as well. So we've got lots of numbers to talk about here, lots of really interesting data that we haven't shared before. So if you're new around this channel, do make sure you subscribe to the channel over there and hit that bell notification. We're on the way to 32,000 subscribers now, which is crazy. And while you're here, smash like, tick or like, do something to that like button. That massively helps me with the YouTube algorithm and helps the channel grow. So I appreciate everybody that does that. So let's look at some data. And there is tons of stuff going on in the market at the moment. We've had uh, mortgage rates that have been going down for months, but in the last week or so, they've actually started to go back up. Now that's gonna hit future sales. Uh, right now, this is sales that have completed. And these were based off the fact that a ton of mortgage companies cut rates over the last quarter. We also have the Bank of England that on August the 1st surprised some, maybe not me, I did say ahead of time that would happen, but they did cut mortgage rates, which was really, really uh, did spur the market. We had data that we talked about around that time quite quickly after the Bank of England cut Right Move had a ton more inquiries. Estate agents were saying they were getting more inquiries from buyers in the market as well. A lot of people that had just sat on the side of the market that could afford to buy, that wanted to buy, they just wanted to make sure that they didn't buy at the peak of the market and at the highest interest rates. So when mortgage rates started, let's be frank, they tumbled because they were 6.5%. You can now get deals for under 4%. You still can, just about, um, if you act quickly. But that really indicated to people, look, I'm ready to buy. And it looks like they have. So what's been going on? Well, the volume of completed sales is up in the last quarter. So this is for quarter three. And it's up 23% up on quarter three in 2024, 23%. That's a big, big leap. And a lot of businesses that rely on this trade, think about conveyances, estate agent, builders, cleaners, lots of people rely on this market to have a volume of turnover. That's really positive for them and they will have made some money, which is good. Now, the primary driver of this was lower mortgage rates. Now, here's where this could become a problem. The market is busier still, but this week, mortgage rates have started to go back up because even with the fact that inflation is at 1.7%, even though interest rates have been lower, and even though the Bank of England is likely to cut rates twice this year, the problem that we've got is the budget. We've got a week or so left until we find out what's in Angela Rayner's budget. But that is worrying the markets at the moment. They feel that Labour is going to be too aggressive. Labour are saying tough decisions need to be made. They keep using that term. Tough decisions need to be made. Since they've got into power, they've said there's a £22 billion black hole that they need to plug. Interestingly enough, they're also going to spend £22 billion on a machine to suck carbon out the air. Maybe we don't buy that then we plug the gap with that money. Anyway, lower rates have caused a market really to become busier, but that could change quite quickly. Now with the fact that interest rates are going up and depending on what happens in the budget, it could slow the market down again, definitely. So we've got to keep an eye on this kind of stuff. So who's which areas are doing well? Well, um, two areas have done particularly well. These are the two best. So the East Midlands and the East of England are both up 28%. 28% more sales volume. Now, 
those are more affordable places for sure. So you'll have got maybe some investors that have gone in there. You'll have got people that just want to buy a house to live there. London isn't on that list because London is expensive. It has picked up the market, but not as much as other more affordable areas. As I've talked about before, the northern areas have done quite well as well because house prices are affordable there, even if the market doesn't crash they're still affordable. You can buy a house for 60 grand in Doncaster or Hull or somewhere in that sort of area. So that's interesting to see. Um, how many houses are for sale? Well, there are 456,902 for sale in the last quarter. And that is up 9% on a year prior. That's the highest amount of properties for sale in a quarter in the last six years. Think about what you've gone through and we've all gone through in those last six years. So that really is interesting, that data. Here's the doom and gloom, because I know a lot of people are really adamant that the market is going to crash. And I'm not saying it is or isn't. No one knows for sure until it actually happens. In fact, it'll be after that it started that we'll really understand but here's some interesting stat, and there isn't a comparison to last year, but 38% of properties are reduced at the moment on the market. That's a big chunk. Um, and we need to do some research to find out what does that compare to normal. There are always reduced properties on. And what's interesting is a lot of people will feel that that's a particularly high number. It is high, for sure. But there are always in a normal market, a lot of reductions on the property market because people always list really expensive because they want to get the maximum price. Now, during the pandemic, you didn't see lots of reductions because everyone was flush with cash. People have bounce back loans. They weren't going on holidays. Uh, they were bored. And so they were doing investment projects and stuff like that. So there wasn't many reductions. Now you're seeing more. It looks like everything's reduced. But at the moment, it's 38%. Here's an interesting stat as well. Um, the amount of rental properties uh, for sale a year ago was 6.8%. 6.8% of this total number. Obviously, that number was 9% lower. So of the 400,000 properties, not a year ago, it was around 6% of those were previously rental properties for sale. This is nearly doubled now to 11.3%. So that's a big jump. And that shows that what we've been talking about on this channel, landlords wanting to leave because of Section 21 being abolished, Section 24, the Renters Rights Bill, well, all these things is going to keep pushing out more landlords. And that is something we need to keep an eye on because here's what happened. What will happen is rents will continue to rise in 2025. Now, Labour are not saying they're going to put rent caps on, but if it keeps going up above 10% in 25 and 26, that could be bad news for landlords because potentially rent caps could come into the market. Now, that would also be bad for tenants because if you put a rent cap on, more landlords will quit and there'll be even less properties. You might have affordable properties, but what you won't have is properties that you can get access to. Other places have done these rent caps before, and you can easily get 100 people applying for one property. In the comments, over the last two weeks, I've had multiple agents that have commented that have said, when we list the property on Right Move to Rent, we get more than 50 people apply. And one agent even said they get 200, 200 applications per rental property. Imagine if you wanted to rent that property and you're fighting against 200 people. Now, bashing landlords is something that happens. It's normal. But what we've also got to understand is we want to keep some landlords in the market and we need to build more properties. That will help with the rental crisis. But I thought this data was really interesting. The key points for me is that the volume is up. That's very, very important, particularly in these areas. The reductions, we need to keep an eye on that, see how that goes as well. But also to get the highlighted 
information here that landlords are still continuing to leave the market. That isn't great for tenants, I don't think, in the next quarter or the next year. Let me know your thoughts, questions and opinions below. Do comment on all the videos, even if it's just to say hi. Smash that like button, do subscribe. And while you're here, check out all the other content on my channel, including this video right here.